Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Cruise Travel Channel. It's our pleasure to be able to bring you a ship tour of the beautiful Harmony of the Seas in September 2021. We spent seven magical days on her out of Barcelona. Enjoy. Here we are, it's uh, 12th of September 2021 and here's the lovely Harmony of the Seas with the lovely Susan in the foreground. A fantastic ship, super size. We look forward to sharing that with you when we get on board. Okay, so here we are on deck five, and uh, this is the Royal Promenade, and it's a lovely, uh, beautiful area. And it's about twice the width of the Royal Promenades on the Explorer Voyager class of ship, and you'll see that there's plenty of open space and areas to dine and socialize so of course on the schooner bar uh, here it's actually on deck seven and that's above guest services now guest services uh, is the area that you'll go to if you have any problems with your cruise or with your account and the guest services team will be there to assist you in whatever way you need uh, adjacent to that is Cafe Promenade, one of the small cafes on board and you can pick up light snacks, teas and coffees uh, as and when you need it. And here right in front of us actually is, is the Sky Bar. So you'll see up there, it's actually up on deck 8 at the moment, it's parked on the boardwalk but on a regular basis that comes down through the staunchions here, down onto deck five. And of course, a Royal Promenade wouldn't be a Royal Promenade without the ubiquitous uh, shops. Here we have Regalia, uh, which is of course the jewelry store on uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, full of lovely, beautiful branded goods. And uh, we'll take a sneaky peek in here it's obviously a tax-free shop and you can see, of course, some very nice, very expensive looking 
jewellery and watches uh, if that's what you're uh, in the market for. So that's regalia. And so if we go further into the Royal Promenade, the next place we'll come to is the next cruise area. Next cruise, of course, is that area where you can book yourself an appointment. Uh, you're loving your cruise right now. And here's the opportunity now to pick up a nice bargain on, on a repeat cruise. And the ladies and gentlemen in here will look after you. There usually are some, some pretty good deals going on. And this is where that activity will occur. And it's lovely from the point of view of it's been well afforded. Some uh, beautiful decor here. Just giving you a few ideas of some of the places that you could go to. So, that's the next cruise, next cruise area on the Royal Promenade on Deck 5. And so, adjacent to the Royal Promenade, uh, on Cafe Promenade is a very beautiful piece of British automotive engineering. And that is this wonderful E-Type Jaguar and uh, got a couple of, uh, couple of couple of the guests actually in the vehicle at the moment. But uh, what a beautiful piece of automotive history! Uh, a fantastic car uh, in all of its glory. A purely uh, sophisticated and fantastic piece of. motion from a bygone age. How beautiful is that? And as we go through the rest of the promenade, you can see in the roof, we can actually see up to deck eight and up into the boardwalk area, which is very lovely. And here we have a, a selection of other uh, retail outlets, so on the left hand side here is Kate Spade, uh, an area where you can pick yourself up a nice handbag or a purse, something for the ladies, maybe perhaps a present. And incidentally just above here is a little area where the band uh, play a few sets in the afternoons. Uh, and also above the Cafe Promenade actually is the Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar, very nice, very peaceful, an area where you can get yourself some a trivia game or a piano set and it goes up to make the general makeup of what is the traditional look in the Royal Promenade on this class of ship. And so a little bit further along on the Royal Promenade now is Sorrento's. Sorrento's is a, a little pizza and caf uh, area. You can pop in here, get yourself a nice slice of pizza when the, when the uh, occasion takes you. Uh, it's one of the free arrangements here on board. Just get yourself a little snack. And hopefully we won't get too many blasts by the uh, the music above, but uh, we'll have to deal with that when we get home. So, and so, of course, no self-respecting Royal Promenade would be the same without a traditional British pub. So here on the right-hand side, we have the Boot and Bonnet. Boot and Bonnet, where you can pick yourself up some traditional English and world beers, and uh, a very nice place to come and look and socialise and people watch. That's the boot and bonnet and of course it's the Royal Promenade so again it wouldn't be the same without a few display cabinets with some merchandise in for uh, the guests of Royal Caribbean and also on here of course there is the port merchants where you can go in and buy yourself some liquor some beers and some spirits on the Royal Promenade is Solero. Solero, where you can pick yourself up a, uh, 
variety of uh, goods, beach goods, skin care, swimwear, etc. And uh, quite a large store actually dedicated to looking after Royal Caribbean's guests to ensure their healthy uh, and safe time at sea. And so as we get towards the end of the Royal Promenade, there's a very, very interesting piece of active art that is here on the promenade, and that is this uh, revolving head. It actually does split and revolve, uh, only sometimes actually recreating its uh, beautifully designed position of a, of a head. Uh, really, really interesting to look at, really interesting to watch uh, during the day. We'll see if we can get some shots of that at another time actually operating. So, and so there we are, there's the Royal Promenade, a simply stunning, beautiful and wide open area for guests to come and sit and socialise and uh, a really fantastic piece of design. Stay tuned and if you're enjoying this video so far then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription which doesn't cost you a bean, doesn't cost you a penny that this channel can grow. Uh, we hope you're liking the footage that we're bringing you on the wonderful harmony of the seas and if so please consider liking subscribing and let us have any comments that you'd like down below. It's much appreciated and here's a thanks from Sue and I in advance for your subscription. And towards the end now of the Royal Promenade is Bolero's Bar. Bolero's is a lovely, dark looking, sultry looking uh, bar. Uh, the light's not gonna be very good in here, so apologies in advance. Hopefully the camera system will grab as much of the light as it can, but as you can see, a nice, lovely, dark looking bar where you can come sit and have a few drinks and really enjoy your time on board. So that's Boleros. So here we are now down on deck four and we're at the entertainment place. Uh, lifts down to deck four and all of these other areas are adjacent but below the rural promenade. So we'll take a walk through. And we'll see a variety of other activities available on deck four. And so this first place we come to is Jazz on Four, uh, a dedicated jazz bar for the jazz aficionados and uh, quite a lovely, well laid out bar and uh, predominating for the lovers of jazz music. And as you can see, uh, the stage permanently decked out for jazz musicians and music. So that's Jazz on Four. So this is the attic. This is on uh, deck four. And uh, it looks like a little bar for comedy entertainment and the like and uh, looks quite good, it's quite nice. And also on four is of course our uh, auction house, our diamond club and Studio B. Studio B of course is the, is the onboard ice skating rink and uh, as we go still further down 
We can go through the casino into Casino Royale. So as we uh, go still down still further, we can get into Casino Royale. Now we'll take a very, very quick look through here because security may not like any filming going on, but we'll see where we get. So the classic casino layout of tables and slot machines. Again, we'll not uh, stay in here long in case uh, the security team don't like filming, but as you can see, uh, each individual cruise ship has its own casino, and this one, of course, is no exception. The cruise line continually looking for ways to help you enjoy your cruise and we also have a casino bar where you can pick yourself up a drink uh, perhaps assist with your gambling suggestions Decis How lovely is that? Beautiful sunrise this morning and uh, a fantastic sea. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments you'd like and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow. So that's brought us nicely to the end of this first part of the Harmony of the Seas ship tour. In part two, we're going to be sharing more of the boardwalk, Central Park, and some of the upper decks in the outside areas. So I'll see you in part two. Take care.